Hi again everybody, welcome once more to part two of our new series, Essex Ghostly Legends. Our first legend, whether you can believe this story or not, concerns a village church here at Cressing. During the winter of 1948 and 1949, parishioners could hear the sound of a congregation singing to an organ. Of course, at that time, the church was cold and empty and locked. Despite investigations by the church authorities, no reason for this behavior could be attributed to any particular act or person. And this continued right through that winter period, but never reoccurred the following year. And to this day, as far as I'm aware, there has been no reoccurrences. My next ghostly tale is not a building or a church, but a quiet leafy lane leading on a back road into the village of Kelverdon in Essex. Reports of two paranormal events concern a large glowing orb seen by motorists to be drifting aimlessly along this lane late at night, and that of a young woman dressed in slightly old-fashioned clothing to be seen thumbing a lift from passing cars. Apparently, once in the back of the car, she appears distraught and urgently needing a lift to an address in Kelverdon itself. Having arrived at the house, she quietly disappears from the back, leaving the driver frightened and confused, and having called at the house, a sad elderly man resident there reports that this was his daughter, who died in a car accident a number of years ago, in that very same spot, trying to get a lift back home. I used to work at Kelverdon Police Station and used to use that lane quite frequently, especially late at night, and yet not once did I see anything remotely associated with this urban legend. Our next story takes us to what used to be the Victorian Railway Station at Kelverdon in Essex. It is said that regularly at 4.45am every day footsteps could be heard on the platform. Unfortunately, since the station was recently rebuilt, there has been no further reports of this particular spiritual activity. And finally, we're going to travel to Fearing Church. Fearing Church is a beautiful, essentially 15th century rebuild medieval church with a wonderful history and also an interesting ghost legend. The ghostly story attached to Fearing was that in the late 19th century, a soldier from the Zulu Wars named as John Hardman, who was killed in battle, was brought home to Fearing and buried here. Shortly afterwards, his ghost would appear near to the church pulpit in full uniform and clutching a bleeding stomach wound. This manifestation slowly disappeared over the following months, but was seen regularly by church worshippers. On arrival I found the church locked, but by chance was able to locate a keyholder who was willing to open the church for inspection. Unfortunately I wasn't able to open up or indeed carry out a full investigation due to this lady's kindly presence, but the journey wasn't without reward.
Whilst at the church, I looked to find any memorial for John Hardman, but was unable to do so. And so I left to search out amongst the graves and memorial stones for any trace of this dead man. But despite having spent some time there, I was unable to do so. However, when inside the church, I felt a very strong and powerful energy spikes around the area of the pulpit and chancel. If John Harbin is buried here, he, like his ghost, proved extremely elusive on my visit. Until next time. <laughs>